Oh yeah, good morning Canada. All right, time to get up, get some Tim Hortons and go for a four hour dog walk. What, what the heck? Sea otter? God damn it. All right, our first stop, we are at the We Are One booth. You guys have already seen their bike, the Arrival. Well, they kind of have two new bikes. They're based off the same front and rear triangles, and they're using different links and different shocks to deliver 170 millimeters of rear wheel travel on this bike and 130 on the other bike that we're gonna show you in a minute. Sticking on the rear suspension, this new longer travel 170 millimeter arrival, I'm calling it the Arrival LT. They don't actually have a name for it yet, so we'll see what they end up calling it when it comes out. It uses a shock with 65 millimeters of stroke and you're running 30% sag on this bike with 170 mils of travel. Compare that to the first arrival, it had 152 millimeters of travel and you were running 25% sag. So these two bikes are gonna ride very differently. Now, another interesting thing to note is that We Are One is actually offering the links and the shocks separately. So if you picked up an arrival already, 152 millimeters of travel, and you want a shorter travel one or a longer travel one, you can make that conversion. If you want to pick up your new longer travel or shorter travel arrival, these are going to be available in June of this year. Pricing, well, we don't have exact numbers yet, but expect them to be pretty much the same as the current arrival. We're going to look at one last thing before we leave the We Are One booth, and it's one of their new rims. Now, their current Union lineup, if you look at it, it's a pretty normal shaped rim. But this, well, have a look, it's definitely not. This is all about spoke and nipple alignment, and it lets We Are One have the nipple and spoke hole better in line so everything is under less stress and much more reliable. The rim itself is actually said to be 30% stronger when it comes to impact strength as well, which is pretty impressive. Wear One doesn't have a price available for these yet, but stay tuned because we'll have that number for you at some point soon. All right, let's head out of here, back into the sun. I think I gotta work on my tan a little bit. Next up, we're in the orange booth and they've got a whole ton of single pivot bikes here. And then they have this, the Switch 7. Now you might've seen this on the website already. This is 170 millimeter travel orange and it uses a linkage down here to control the leverage ratio in a way that the single pivots can't. Now this lets the bike be more active at the start of the stroke, but offer more support where they need it as well. Talking to the guys at Orange, they said that that's a super important factor for a rider over a long day of enduro racing, especially when those stages are 15, 20 minutes long. Now, if you wanna pick up your own Switch 7, they're gonna be available in June. And this model here, this is the SE, it's gonna cost $8,800 American. They're also gonna be offering frame only options, but that price isn't available yet. That's it for the Made in the UK Switch 7. I'm gonna park this bike here and we're gonna head back out into the sun. All right, the next place that we find ourselves is in the Vittoria booth because they've got a brand new tire. It's called the Sierra 29 by 2.4 and it weighs 850 grams. So the Sierra is meant for your short travel, fast down country bike. Now, if we take a closer look at it, it's full of sipes and it's got stepped knobs on it as well. And there's also no pronounced center tread. What they've done here is paddles across the crown of the tire and that gives it a better braking and climbing edge. That's it for Vittoria's new Sierra Down Country tire. It's available right now and you can pick it up for $80.99. All right, I found some more shade here in the 5 Dev booth and the first thing we're gonna look at is their new titanium stem. It starts life as this giant slug of titanium and then they use a three axis and a five axis CNC machine to bring this down to this. Now this weighs about 135 grams altogether and it retails for $400, but look at it. Titanium stem, it's gonna last forever. It's like a piece of jewelry for your bike. Now one interesting detail about this stem is it uses a variable radius clamp. And if you look at it, it's not round. And the idea there is because this faceplate, it doesn't come off, there's, there's no removable faceplate, this is one piece, you need to be able to slide whatever handlebar you're using onto this stem. Now they've got an 80 millimeter rise DD handlebar here and it slides right on. So you'll be able to run this stem with any handlebar. Lengths, it's available in 32 millimeters and 48 millimeters right now. And I think they're gonna do both handlebar clamp sizes down the road as well. 
The next thing we're gonna look at, it's what you might know 5Dev for, and it's their wild looking cranks. These are 7075 aluminum cranks that 5Dev makes themselves in San Diego on their five axis machine. Now they obviously look very different and the whole idea here is to remove as much weight as possible while keeping them as strong as possible. Now because 5Dev machines these cranks themselves, they don't use a mold or anything like that because they're aluminum obviously, they can make them in a ton of different lengths, starting out at 155 millimeters and going up to 175 millimeters in five millimeter increments. And they retail for $500 American. The last thing we're gonna talk about before we leave are these very gold 5Dev pedals. Just like the cranks and the stem, these are made in-house in San Diego on 5Dev's CNC machine. Now these pedals, well these gold ones, this is a special edition, they retail for $300. The other colors are 250 bucks. Now some of the tech details, we've got 12 pins per side and they thread in from the opposite side which will make removing them easier when you eventually do break the pins. Inside, the pedal spins on a quad bearing system, so there's four sealed bearings at the outboard end and an IGUS bushing at the inboard end. Now, all of that is on a stainless steel axle that is said to be much stronger than the Camoli axles used in other pedals. Max and I were wandering around looking for more shade and we happened to stop in the X-Fusion booth and lo and behold, they have a new dropper post. It's wireless, electronically controlled, and it's called the E-Manic. Now this seat post is gonna be available with 100, 125, 150, or 170 millimeters of drop, and it's gonna retail for 400 American dollars. Size-wise, it comes in a ton of lengths, and this for the diameters, you're looking at 30.9 or 31.6 right now, but they also have plans to do the bigger size down the road. Now moving inside the E-Manic seat post, it uses the same hydraulic cartridge as their previous seat post, and we've had one of those on test now for years. That thing is still running smoothly, so I suspect this one will be reliable as well. Now what powers it? A battery, of course, but the battery is removable. Now this battery comes right out of the cylinder here, and I, I don't remember the name of it, but it is a battery that you could pick up at a hardware store, but you don't have to take it out to charge it. There is a charging port, underneath here so you can just leave it on the bike. If you want to pick up your own Emanic, you're still going to have to wait a little bit. This post is still in development, but it's going to be available by the end of the year. Retail price, like I said earlier, $399 American. All right, that is it for Xfuge's new Emanic wireless dropper seat post, and that's also it for our first day coverage from Sea Otter of 2022. Stay tuned for more videos and more articles from the festival.